So this is my father's garage. We want to get into that, into the garage, but when we built it, we didn't have the foresight to run another, uh, another underground uh, tube to bring internet. We just have uh, the one coming in for power. So to get power there, to get uh, internet there, we're using some power line adapters. And this is the, the power line adapters I'm using. Uh, I found these at a Savers for uh, six bucks. And uh, there's Piper, say hi. So with these, it sends the internet or really any uh, the ethernet signal through the walls uh, to another place. So you don't actually need to run a new wire. So this would be a great way to bring it. Uh, let's, uh, let me show you how we did it. So we have uh, the frontier uh, fiber coming in. We have the fiber box behind the TV stand. And Piper's trying to get in the way of the shot. So we have the Ethernet come out of the old Aries uh, router. It's going out into the basement. Then from the basement, it's going into this old uh, Lynx uh, switch. And I just need to knead it up this cable. But it's just to test it out. And the cable we have coming over here to that power line adapter. We have this power strip next to the stairs that doesn't get used. So uh, this is like a, almost a perfect spot. And it'll go down here through the power. Then I then that should just be on a circuit all by itself, or at least just for the basement. Go over to the, the panel down there. Then it will follow the, the two big feeds that go on the other side of that big beam in the middle of the house down to the garage and then into the garage's panel so it goes through the basement up over to the through the attic of the garage comes down into the splice box here and then it goes down outside underground so this is where the box where the power comes out we use an existing hole goes down underneath the ground over here to the input inside of the garage. And then this is the power into the garage. It goes through the breaker panel, up over the garage door, into the outlet over here that doesn't get used much. We have the other power line adapter here that uh, I'll use a shorter cable, but we have to go to here to this old uh, Netgear router. We're getting between like 35 and 40 megabits for like upload and download, which is perfectly fine for the garage. But now we have internet in the garage. And then 